Diabetes can affect your eye in many ways. It can cause dryness, where there is a decrease in tear production inside the eye. It can cause lid problems. The eyelid normally is at this level. Some people can have the eyelid at a lower level. It can also cause boils on the eyelid. It's called styes. Diabetes can also cause blinding diseases like diabetic retinopathy or glaucoma. Diabetes is also a leading cause for cataract. Cataract is now seen in diabetic people at the age of 50 or lesser. Normal age for development of cataract is 70. So, a diabetic person with cataract has to undergo cataract surgery very, very early so as to treat diabetic retinopathy or glaucoma under these conditions. Who are at risk for di developing diabetic related eye diseases? One is the duration of diabetes. If it is 5 years or more, there is a chance for developing dry eye or eye boils or cataract. If it is 10 years and above, the risk of diabetic retinopathy or glaucoma is very high. But the, the duration of the disease has only a slight bearing on the incidence of all these diseases. Most important is the blood sugar, which is normally the fasting is 100. And if it is 140 or more, there is a chance of developing all these complications. Most people ignore the fact that we have to take a blood sugar reading after meals. After meals, the blood sugar level normal is 140. Usually, in the people who have 100, 200 and above is seen after food. So, if you are getting a reading of 100 fasting, it is not 100% likely that you are having a safely controlled diabetes because you are not seeing the after food part of the sugar. The other thing you can do is get a test called HPA1C. This is a test that takes the average blood sugar reading over the last 3 months. If it is 6.5 or above, then the blood sugar control level is inadequate. If it is 7 and above, there is every need to reevaluate whatever treatment you are presently doing. In spite of all this, a person need not necessarily develop any of these complications if he diets well, controls his blood sugar well and exercises regularly and also comes for an eye examination or shows an eye surgeon every two years.